Hey, Sneakers, back in the house today. Today we have another one for you. This is Sabion 13.04, latest release XFCE version. Bit of a quick update this one, so that's super duper. Now, I thought I'd give you a quick look around. Remember, Sabion is basically based on Gen 2, so that's an easy Gen 2. If you want to try Gen 2, it's pre configured all for you. There's always updates for it, and there are certain quirks that you want to find out about it. So, anyway, I'll just quickly go through the desktop with you. It's a different type of XFC, there's no little pop up bar at the bottom, it's standardized. All that I've changed here for XFC is I've got the CPU graph ran up in the corner here. Here's my network connection. I'm up to date because it's an installed system. There's my time and date, lovely jubbly. There's my four workspaces and my clipboard. And over here I have an application finder. So if I click there, I can find some applications. So if I go to internet, for instance, I've actually installed uh, Firefox here. It's Firefox 20.0.1. It comes with Midori as standard, personally, but I'm not really into that, really. It doesn't actually work properly for me, but I'll show you in a moment. So anyway, here we have our file system. So there's me, a trash, desktop and file system, and recent documents. Under the menu, it's basic XFC, but it looks very, very nice. Run program, a terminal, a file manager, mail reader, and web browser. Under settings, it's the usual XFC sort of stuff. Remember, it's XFC 4.10. Flash is pre-installed, and most of your drives are pre-installed as well. So that's super duper. Under accessories. <clears throat> So before application finder, bulk rename, clip man, G note, leaf pad, screenshot, task manager, and Thunar file manager. Under graphics, we have Fe and GNU image manipulation program, which is GIMP to you and me, LibreOffice Draw, because you have the full LibreOffice suite, Restarto, and Shotwell. Under internet, no PPP, and all that, just showing you it before. Aren't I? Okay. Under multimedia, we have audio mixer, that's all, XHow, and video player, that's all you have. The full LibreOffice suite, as I just said, under other we have Wine installed for you, so you can have a bit of Steam going down if you want to. Under Sabion, it's all the help sections you want from Sabion, and there's plenty, plenty out there, so you shouldn't fall flat on your face. It is really easy to get into, really. Under system, bulk rename, well, <clears throat> sorry, bulk rename as well. Firewall manager, Gparted, a Magneto updates notifier, which is up there in the right-hand corner. Rego again. Task Manager again, and some more terminals about XFCE, which is 4.10, as I just said. Yes, lovely. And that's it. That's all you get as basic, okay? So, what I'm going to do for you first, we're going to have the internet, and we'll open up Midori and let it do its stuff. There we go. Now, the reason why I said I'm not really fond of Midori is a bit slow, okay? Oh, by the way, if you're going to use it in VirtualBox, you will find it's a bit laggy at times, okay? It's going to be a bit laggy. But that's what you pay for using VirtualBox. On a full install, you won't have that problem. So, a bit of drinkage. Hang on a second. Mmm. Yum, yum. Big smell. Okay, so here we are. This is when we got Sabion 13.04. Nice, nice. Just quickly go through some of the stuff. System D is coming. Remember, now it does support UEFI and Secure Boot, boot Now. So it doesn't really matter if it, you've got a brand new system, it will support it, which is very, very good indeed. I forgot who the guy was now. Okay, anyway, there's some bits and bobs you want to want to over here down here. It's a production ready UEFI support, as I've said before, including Secure Boot. I mean, they did it a couple of releases ago, remember? About two releases ago, and it was only experimental. But now we're in the house, and there's more and more and more. Now, you also can download it from this page. So you go to www.sabian.org org and it will be on the main page there are 64 and 32 bit versions so you get gnome kde mate xfc the core cdx server base hardened server and the spin base and then there's the 32 bit versions behind it there's no lxde here at the moment unfortunately you could always install it yourself on top of xfc either so that'd be no big deal would it really so that's that bit out of the way so i'll get rid of midori so goodbye midori you're gone Back to applications menu. <clears throat> Internet again, we're going to open up the Fox this time and we'll see the difference. So you can see a little bit laggy, a bit of laggy. This one's in the box, by the way. Well, that's installed, it is in the box. I do have it on a real machine, except I just didn't want to play ball with me for recording for some reason. I just, I just didn't have the time to think about getting it fixed. I need to get these, this video out with the other two because I'm going to have a couple of days off. I've got some work to do. So here we are at Google. Okay, so we'll go to Google. Nice, that bit there. Let's click there. Lovely. We'll go straight to the tube from there. Now, Firefox is a super duper at this. 
normally okay there's our YouTube page I'm gonna type me in so there I am lovely I'm wait for it to come up and I'll quickly click on one of my videos for you just to show you that flash actually works let's go with that one that one does it for me lovely Anyway, 54321, Remember, when you've got this on real hardware, it will fly like the wind, but it must be on real hardware. This is just to show you that it actually works, okay? Yes, okay. We'll wait for that to go down, go away, and we can skip that. And you'll see the video will start playing, super, all out of the box. It does support NVIDIA and ATI drivers, so that's even better. So that's the bits we sort of like, isn't it, really? It does what it says on the tin. Mm. Okay, so that's enough of that. I'll quickly open some of the other stuff up for you. So we go down to Office. we will go to LibreOffice Calc for you. So you want to do a bit of spreadsheeting, it will do it for you, no problemo. There we go. Pretty good, with it? It's all right? Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Remember, I've not got any drivers running on this because it's in the box. So, you know what I mean? So it will run fast up with proprietary drivers, I'm afraid. Yeah, some of these things have to be done. So anyway, continue desktop settings from here. It's all the usual. That was just a real, real quick look around Sabion 13.04. It will work if you want a bit of Gen 2 pre-configured for you. I rather like using it on hardware machines because it just keeps rolling away. Remember, once you've installed it once, you don't have to do it again because it's a rolling release. Yes, a rolling release. So it just gets updated along the way. Although sometimes you can make it go bang when you have to change bits to the kernel. But that's entirely up to you. They do give you warnings about that. So as for the use of it, it's really nice to use. Super. I like Sabion anyway. I'm just a lazy Gen 2 user, aren't I? Mm -hmm. yeah, very, very lazy. 92%. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.